we want to simplify the given complex fraction. And we'll take a look at simplifying the complex fraction using two different methods. So beginning with the given complex fraction, for method one, we simplify the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction. Notice in this case, the fraction on the top and the fraction on the bottom don't simplify. Notice x squared minus five does not factor. And therefore we move to step two. Step two is to write the complex fraction as a division problem. Remember a fraction bar means division. So because this fraction bar means division, we can write this as the fraction on the top divided by the fraction on the bottom. And dividing by this fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we can write this quotient as a product where the first fraction stays the same. Then we have times the reciprocal of the second fraction, which would be the quantity x squared minus five over x. So we do want to think of the quantity x squared minus five as a single factor. So if it's helpful, we can write this in parentheses. Before multiplying, notice how we do have a common factor of x squared minus five between the numerator and denominator. And therefore, these two common factors would simplify to one. If we want, we can put a one there just to remind us these are ones, they don't just disappear. Now we can multiply. In the numerator, we have four times one, which is four. In the denominator, we have one times x, which equals x. So the complex fraction simplifies to four over x. Now let's look at method two. So beginning with the given complex fraction again, and because x squared minus five doesn't factor, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in parentheses here and here. And now for method two, we begin by determining the least common denominator of the fractions in the numerator and denominator. And this is pretty straightforward because there's only a single fraction on top that has a denominator of x squared minus five. There's also only a single fraction on the bottom with the same denominator of x squared minus five. So x squared minus five is the LCD. Step two, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the least common denominator. Which means we're gonna take this complex fraction and multiply the top by x squared minus five and multiply the bottom also by x squared minus five. Remember, if we multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same value or same expression, we do get an equivalent fraction. So now when we multiply, if it's helpful, we can think of this x squared minus five as a fraction with a denominator of one, and notice how there's a common factor of x squared minus five between the numerator and denominator, which would simplify to one. So multiplying on the top here, we just get four. Now multiplying in the denominator, again, notice how we have a common factor of x squared minus five between the numerator and denominator, because this is a fraction with a denominator of one. X squared minus five over x squared minus five simplifies to one. So multiplying here, we just get x times one, which equals x. So obviously both methods work, and we get the same simplified fraction for the given complex fraction. I hope you found this helpful.